Yeah. Cameraman Ron, What's swear up, she's gonna put us on some fish. I, if the weather's right, we're gonna catch some fish. But if not, so when your charter major doesn't put you on enough fish to have a fish fry for the family, here's what you do. What's up guys, we are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and like this video. So today, we are back in Pensacola, Florida with Ron, that is the captain. Not a Captain Houston cameraman, Ron, bro. You see the shirt? Not, oh, it's just a oh, uh, captain now. I mean, I guess your hand's so like the perfect I think size. I figured it out. So this is, this is Ron from the Cameraman Ron channel. Last year we discovered he is Captain Ron. He just doesn't <laughs> know it. This year, his shirt says "Not a Captain" because apparently he got a few uh, emails Requests. wanting to book charters last year. So this year, we promoted him to Major. So he's Major Ron, <laughs> not a Captain. So even better. Like there's, I don't know any other majors out here. They're all that's, captains. That's charter, and that's yeah, true. Yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. Cameraman Ron, What's swear she's gonna put us on some fish. I, if the weather's right, we're gonna catch some fish. But if not, I know a great seafood market right down the road. So the women folk will never know that we didn't make it. The weather's right. Look at it. Like it's flat, calm, sunrise. We're back in Pensacola for a family vacation. We got 14 people at the house to feed, and they said we're eating all you can eat fried fish tonight. Oh, so shoot. Joe Patties better have a lot of fish. I no, hope. man, we don't need Joe Patties. We got <laughs> everything we need right here under this boat. We'll see. We'll see. I'm so we're on the spot. I'm just wondering yeah, we're since good. we're gonna be here for like literally like 10 hours. Um, is that ice chest full of shrimp? No, but it's got a bunch of water. Because you gotta stay hydrated. Well, we're gonna fill it full of fish. Yeah. yeah. We might have to remove some of the ice, put fish in there. Probably good. Richie and Houston just doubled up. What you catching, Houston? Uh, Come on. I forgot. Can you remember? No. Mangrove? Is that right? Good call, man. We don't want to stick our fingers in the mouth. Of these oh, it's things, a right? mangrove, yeah. Yeah, um, you don't. Yeah, you want to don't. You yeah. do not want to stick your fingers in the mouth of the snapper. Look at those teeth. Hey, uh, can we have some pliers? I'm confident. I'm more confident in this than baseball. You're more confident in this than baseball. Hey, you want me to I just want to say for the record, right now we've caught two fish. There's no refunds. No refunds. <laughs> Just so everybody knows, we caught two fish. There's no refunds. And you got meat in the cooler, so it's done. That's a done deal. Hey, I just... I just want to say, Houston caught the fish when he cast on top of that. Yeah, I did. True. That's the thing And then he, he just fell off in the water, and he goes, oh, there's a fish. I yeah. tried to tell y'all get close to it. That's where they're at. Might be a keeper, too. I like how he must be nice. I was gonna say, I, th I like how he's subtly burning you a little bit. I don't. He's pulling them in. And he's like, it's the biggest fish we've caught all morning. He's yeah. like, this might be a keeper too. This might be. He gets so excited, you know. To, he's like, there's a fish. I'm trying to blend in, like I, you know, I've done this before. Yeah. Simmer. Come on, Houston. Please catch fish. I'm here for you. No, you're not. You're here for yourself. <laughs> I need to. I don't. <laughs> Yeah, apparently I just came to video Richie today. He's like, oh, that's redfish. That's a redfish, yeah. That's a red. Look at there. We got two new fish for Richie today. You never caught a redfish before? These are the first fish I caught outside a shark in the ocean. Really? Yeah. You gonna Look get at, the belly. He's like, I only catch sharks. You're going to get the no, belly. I, I've only caught, well, I might get Are those your freedom pliers? Yeah, man. These are Eugene's. <laughs> well, eventually the kids will get through fishing and then uh, the men will get to fish a little bit and you're uh, just being polite and letting the kids catch fish first. They're not listening though. Sorry. I said I'm being polite and let the kids catch all their fish first and then later the men get to fish. Yeah, there you go. Gotta throw the right side. There, that's go. perfect, perfect, Houston. Oh, no, you cannot set that hook, man. We're not bass fishing? <laughs> My man been hanging out with Jimmy oh, Houston. Oh. oh, Houston's on. Houston's pulling drag over there. Slow down, slow down. 
Is this keeper pack? There you go. Trying to make a fishing video oh, here. Oh, that's tiny. No, it's not. That's a keeper mangrove, dude. That's, that's not, what we're after. That's what we're after. We're, we're stocking the cooler right yeah. now. Yeah. That right there is what's for supper. Yeah, that is not tiny at all, dude. Oh. That's a good fish. It's barely hooked, too. Ooh, Daniel. Oh. Man, you make me nervous doing that, man. <laughs> I'll only get bit once, and then I'll quit doing that crap. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> You, you can check him, I, but I mean, I know he's good. Uh, they won't, uh, they won't let go. Hey, uh, is he, on the bait, is sir? He 10? Squeeze his Let me get him on the. Oh yeah, he's yeah. good. You're good. I didn't have him on the zero yet. Let's put this fish in here for Houston with Richie's. I mean, I caught one. So everybody's caught a keeper fish now, right? Yeah. Then there's definitely no refunds. No refunds. No refunds. Sorry, guys. And if we see a dolphin, you have to tip. That's just, just the rules. <laughs> Richie got one. Oh, that's a big one. I don't know how long it is. You don't even have to go to that. No. All right. Just stick your finger in his mouth, and if he bites you, he's a keeper. <laughs> no. I'm yeah. not doing that. The little ones don't bite as hard, so you just, that's how you know. All right, spot number one. We're barely even out of the... Uh, I guess it's technically called the bayou, right? Yeah. That was a success. Richie caught several fish. We got the kids some fish. Now we can go catch some man fish. You caught a fish too, though. <laughs> don't, don't play it up like everybody didn't catch fish. Oh, uh, yeah. Richie did put it on you guys, though. I'm just saying. You didn't it was fish. totally an accident, trust me. <laughs> I don't doubt that because the first couple fish Richie caught, I could see the surprise in his eyes. He didn't have the sunglasses on yet. And he was as surprised at the fish that he was on the hook. Like 100%. What do you got? Oh, <laughs> looks like a sand bass. What it looked like when it first jumped out of the water. What is that? That is a pigfish. A what? It's a pigfish. Is it big enough to keep? Well, you, you can't keep them. It's just a bait fish. I didn't know. No, you're fine. No, these are, they call them, or actually, that's not even a pigfish. I think that's a grunt. It's definitely a grunt. That's why they call him a grunt. He's it's a mad fish. He's camera shy. What do you got this time? A fish. A fish. Oh, yeah. Dude, what is up with you catching grunts, bro? <laughs> That's just another grunt. It's just another fish I hadn't caught. Your dad's on the struggle bus this morning, man. So we're going to change our tactics up a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> somebody used all the live shrimp. <clears throat> Richie. Catching all the fish. <clears throat> so we ran out of live shrimp. Bait store sold out, so we went and got some cigar minnows and some squid. We're going to try some deep dropping. We're actually in the bay. Yes. But it's like a lake right now, flat, calm. Look at this. I mean, there's barely a ripple of water. There is bait hitting the surface back here. And Houston's going to catch a big fish. Yep. Yep. And he's going to be a little bit more excited, right? Yep. <laughs> Houston's just enjoying the ride, man. Yep. He's just glad there's no waves. Exactly. Yep. You got him, Richie? Yeah. You up? You got him? Yeah. All right. I'm letting him get this one. Let, You're, nice. I know, that's a very nice thing of you to do there, Houston. It's definitely going to be an ARS because he is fighting. Ooh. There you go. That's a good one. And that's that not even keeper bright. size, guys, which we can't keep red snapper, which Daniel told you guys a minute ago. That one has eggs. I mean, the, uh... Or it's full. So guys, what we're doing on this particular spot is this holds grouper. And Houston and Richie, neither one has caught a grouper. And Daniel's getting ready to get bit again. So we're, we're trying to catch grouper right here. We just are having to weed through the American Red Snapper in order to do it. Um, season's not open on those for a couple weeks. If it was, y'all be eating right oh tonight. Oh my goodness, Like yeah. for real. Yeah. We might have to buy some just for good measure. <laughs> Daniel's about to get hooked up right here. I feel it coming. And then Richie's up there with his nice fish. Do you want a picture there, Richie? Yeah. All right, hang on one second. That one's perfect. Yeah. He goes. He 
gone. He gone. They fight hard, don't they, for yeah. a smaller fish? Yeah. They don't play around. That was pretty cool. All right, guys. Put it between your legs, huh? We got Houston on a big one now here. Careful, Daniel. Don't let him get in that trolling motor. Is he still on there, Houston? Yeah. You got him, Houston. Don't let him whoop you, buddy. <laughs> hey, Houston. Like Look. Up. Houston, there you go. Pull up. Oh! oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. That's far enough. Hang on. <laughs> nice. There. Now, so if this was two weeks from now, that's a keeper fish, Houston. 100%. Yep. Daniel, let me get you some fish grips here. Yeah, because that right there is some of the best eating there is out here, for sure. That's a, a good fish, one. man. That's a good fish. It's the biggest one I've ever caught. This, one. this is like my fav my second favorite fish to eat. I like to eat those, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but it's not snapper season. Yo. Uh -oh. Work him a little bit. He might have got an air bubble. There he goes. Good job. Thank you. You know it's always the wrong way. You ready? <laughs> oh, you, what happened? You waited too long. That wasn't my fault. You weren't even gonna hand me the pole. I was asking you if you were ready. That was a, that actually was a big fish too. This one's heavier than that last one. <laughs> oh boy, that's like. Did he? See if you can get him up. Tighten your drag just a little bit yeah. on the nose of that. Got to get him off the bottom, or he'll break you off. There you go. Amazing the difference when you tighten the drag. Oh, we took all these. Oh, you got a good one. Not bad. Another snapper. Yep, another red snapper. Are you going to catch one? Uh, we're not talking about that. I'm letting the kids fish. You're letting the kids fish? <laughs> <laughs> I told you, we're letting the kids fish today. I'm just holding the pole for them. Got one. Yeah, finally. Come on up to the bottom. Oh. Using muscles, Daniel. Oh, did you lose him? Oh, Daniel. Quick release. What's happening? I didn't even lose my bait. Yeah, but you got you to gotta touch the leader for it to catch. Why? Well, yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> Saltwater rule. <laughs> I hooked a good one. You did hook a good one. You guys one. have no idea how big that fish was either. I do. Man, I... Here, here, here. Let's trade rods for a second. Here, 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 here. here. Yeah, yeah, you go. You go. Here, I, can't. I got two rods. That's a nice hookup, Daniel. Yeah. That's a nice hookup. <laughs> I told you guys I catch fish. What I get? What we got? That's literally the smallest red snapper we caught all day. But you caught a red snapper. That's all that matters. <laughs> I was fishing with two poles, two rods. Yeah, he had just handed that to me for a second because yeah. uh, he he felt bad for me. Oh, oh Richie's on what? again. Oh, my goodness. Richie is like having a day back there. He's playing pass around. We're just trying to make sure everybody gets on the fish, man. Hey, look at this squid. This piece of bait squid that I got? Yeah, it's got the plastics on it. Yeah, y'all check that out. This isn't the smallest anymore. No, Houston got a smaller oh, one. Yeah. Guys, Captain Ron putting y'all on him. Major. A, Major Ron, I'm Major sorry. Major Ron. Yeah, because I'm not a captain. God service. Yep. What's your number again? Uh, <laughs> hang on, let me find Daniel Arms in my phone real quick. It's, <laughs> that's weird. It's an Oklahoma number. Well, I got my <clears throat> hold it real close. Giant red look snapper. How big that thing I mean, is. it barely fits look, on the phone. Look, Houston's is so much smaller than the one I caught. Yeah, by yourself. Yeah. All by myself. My... All right, Mister Snapper. We'll see you when you get bigger. We'll be back during snapper season. Maybe. Just not this year. Not this year. He might have just got shot with Come on, Richie. You're moaning and groaning. I thought you'd go to the gym every day. That's a, That's a big boy right there. You don't have to talk about Richie like that. <laughs> that's, just, that's just odd. You see what you have Oh, this stupid reel. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying to be a good friend. This is not even that big of a fish at all. But reeling with my right hand is the most awkward thing. What is happening right now? I have got your line. 
Oh. That's yep. Yep. That's my fish. You got my line. I, I think mean, that's my fish. Technically, you're not wrong. <laughs> Fifty percent. We we teamed up. We tag team this fish, man. Tag team. Yeah, it's a big Richie one. definitely got a bigger one than you, though. Don't let him whoop you, Houston. Get him in. There's a dolphin coming. The dolphin's wanting a free lunch. Oh, golly, what the crap? Good thing I had that tucked under my arm. Oh, oh. I got a tuna. That's not a... No. <laughs> that was a tuna. It's not a tuna. That's a blue. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't be sorry. That was a... I'm embarrassed. There's nothing no, don't be embarrassed. That was the greatest. They do look like it. Like the... Keep you keep this if you want. I mean, they're not very good. Gonna get the belly. See, I big finish my fish like this right here. Like that's, how, that's what I use that for. That's why I keep it around. That's a blue fish, but Is he good not really. Not really. Hold that, folks. Um, some people, some people will say yes. Um, some people love them, but I'm not a huge fan. They make great bait. So. Oh. And there's plenty of the squid. If y'all want to flip the squid. Old Major Payne, I mean Ron, showing off his fishing skills. Nobody on the boat catch fish but him, you know. Yeah, I don't know about all that. That's why his charter service never really took off. <laughs> or because of the fact that I wouldn't answer the phone call. Well, that too. Yeah. Dolphins are the close. Yeah, the dolphins are right there by the boat. Get away from Ron so I don't get in his line. Oh, look at there. Nice snapper. That might be the biggest one of that. Well, yeah, it is, Richie. What else would you expect? It's go time, man. That one is good. Houston said, I'm time to leave. So Ron's like, I'm catching a big fish yeah. before I leave. Before we get out of here, i got to catch at least one. That's not a bad snapper there, guys. That's a big one. Did you say that's Yeah, I sure wish it was snapper season. Yeah, Why didn't you invite us during snapper season? You said, come down here on... The first week of June. You know, daggone well, DJ made these plans. Because if we'd made these plans, we'd be eating these dudes right now. I promise you that. <laughs> You're a pretty smart guy. You know that? Yeah, I, I'm pretty well versed in that. I got a wife too, man. We should just... There's a dolphin right there. Coming up right there. See it's been as good as... You got really good footage of that one. Man. Kick the, the squid off. What happened? I told y'all to fish with squid and look what happened. You bat on too? No, hang on. Just wait. What do you mean just wait? <laughs> he done jumped straight over there and took Richie's spot, y'all. And Daniel, I do appreciate the fact that you're already wearing the new summer merch, man. Hey, by the time this video comes out, we may be sold out of them, man. I know, but I mean, yeah. So luckily... I was fortunate enough, I got a hold of Daniel and I had him bring me one of these Creek Life shirts, but if y'all have not bought them yet, it's a great fishing shirt for yeah. all y'all down here in the coast. Shirt. Yeah. And a lot of times people ask us why we wear the hoods, and the reason we wear hoods is because it keeps the sun off your neck. And it's not thick. It's not to keep you warm, it's to oh, keep the sun off the back of that, that head. And that sun neck. Off of you. Yeah, so those are nice shirts. If there's yeah. any left, y'all go make sure to go to Arms Family Homestead and check them out. Oh. It dang sure works. The hood makes a difference out here. For I mean, sure. Maybe, you know, in yard work or something might be beneficial, but out here, it's it Big makes time. a world of difference. Yeah. Any type of fishing. I mean, if you're on the water, you can get sunburnt real quick. Oh, gosh, yes. That's Richie, I mean, are you going to get that water. fish off, or do you need me to come do it gonna, for you? You guys are going to finish the whole video before I get this fish off. <laughs> Daniel's about ready to catch a fish over your back. No. If I get a big one, it's just... Just boot him right off. <laughs> I'll throw him a GoPro and tell him to give me some underwater. Footage. Exactly. Well, no groupers at this spot, but we did catch. How many? How many snapper do you think we caught? Eight, eight or nine. Eight or nine, something yeah, like that. So like it's too bad we would have limited out on snappers out there here. There was one giant one caught. Oh, that was me. It, well, sorry. no, I had the biggest one. He just he broke me off in the water. Remember? Oh, okay. <laughs> Daniel's still playing by creek rule. Where if, you, if it hits your pole, it's a catch. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, but we can't eat the snapper. It's not snapper season, so we're gonna troll. Well, we can't eat the red snapper. We're gonna make our way back in where we were catching the mangrove snapper earlier because we can eat those. And maybe a red. And this fish. guy wants to go catch something he can eat. Yeah. Houston's not about that catch and release life.
Why'd you have to go and ruin everybody's fun? I, I didn't now, know. Now we can't even enjoy our day. And, oh, and he's spitting up everything he's been eating. Oh. <laughs> he had to ruin everybody's fun, Daniel. Are you seeing this? Hey. Yeah, we're just going to cut that. Go ahead, it was him and not me. I have gotten a little bit better at filleting since the last time you were here. You know, last time I, I said, why don't you use an electric fillet knife? I had, I had these big, cool bubba knives, like big I, bladed knives. I had a, I had a, my bubba blade last year when you were here. Yeah, not the electric one, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. For those redfish, man, oh, there ain't nothing Well, maybe else. I was thinking somebody else. I, beach, I bum, thinking... beach bum won't use an electric knife. He's too fancy. So, we caught quite a few fish. We actually caught a bunch of fish. But as far as table fare and what was legal to keep, it was about five mangrove snapper. So when your charter major doesn't put you on enough fish to have a fish fry for the family, here's what you do. You stop at Joe Patty's Seafood Market because this is a must when you're in Pensacola. If you're in Pensacola, Florida, and you like seafood, you have to hit up Joe Patty's. Fresh Market, this place is, mm, it's amazing. Step on in. Well, we're in luck. We caught a lot of good fish at Joe Patty's at the seafood market. And uh, I want to say, Major Major Captain Ron, two titles. not only two titles. Not only is he, you know, taking us out on these charters fishing. He's frying fish for us at our house, like beachfront service. Can we can we go ahead and add private chef in front of that? All that stuff too. Well, that's close enough. You brought the fries, Eddie. Let's do it. So we're gonna cut up some fish. We're gonna fry a bunch of fish for dinner, and hopefully we got some hungry people. All right, today's catch includes uh, a little bit of mahi. Well, just a lot. We got a we got a wide variety of fish. We caught some of it from the Gulf. And some of it from the ice. That's right. Ooh. Ooh. Does that make you? Ooh. Like you wouldn't believe. Best, best yes. part of the trip so far. I bought some cod at the market. I bought some flounder. And we've got our uh, mangrove snapper. I've got some mahi, but I'm going to try to hold this back because Houston and Emily love grilled mahi. So we're going to cut everything up and see if we got enough. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, for sure. I'm really not used to this because this is my job all the time at home. Man, you're on vacation. This is home for me. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to make your life a little easier down here, man. Yeah, well, you're making it pretty easy. I'm just trying to get another invite to Oklahoma. That's all. That's <laughs> all I'm trying to do. Well, that's not a bad That's how you cook some tater tots right there, Daniel. That's like half the bag. All right, Major. Supper is served, fellas. We got uh, mangrove snapper. We got cod. We got um, flounder. We got Richie trying to dump the hash browns and tater tots. You'll be in a lot of trouble. Landon will be ticked hash, about. Brown, hash browns and tater tots. You mean onion rings uh, and, onion tater, rings and tater, tater tots? tots. Sorry. I had too much bottled water. Water. Can't quite see the sunset, but that's all right. Don't trip, guys. Let's go, Chitlin. Supper's ready. What are you doing in the trees, Rala? Good grief. Y'all come eat. There's the sunset. Richie, you're going to wait on everybody to eat, right? <laughs> so, you eat first. No. You guys ladies, cooked? You took us fishing? Ladies eat first. Okay. Always. Well, <laughs> Sarah can eat first. The kids are all running around. They can eat in a minute. Yeah. What'd the Oklahoma mother-in-law make? 
Ceviche. We've been arguing all week. She calls it ceviche. 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 But you know what? The Oklahoma version could be ceviche if you wanted to be. It's fine. Uh, yeah, 10 minutes, I said. Wait, you got three more minutes. You had a fixed company. Hey. Mm hmm. I brought the salt up here. Ask Daniel in Houston how many egg that's in that pan. Where's the salt? It's on the fish. Is it the I need some on this. Mm. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Supper was amazing. You did good. Hey. Fishing trip was amazing. You did good there. What can I say? Listen, man? Uh, this this is why we keep coming back to Pensacola. Like DJ and I found Pensacola by accident on a trip several years ago. But since then, we've made friends with several people down here, and it's just kind of a, I'm not going to say a second home by any means, but we truly enjoy coming back to this place every year. It's just a big family trip. Well, I say family. It's family and friends. There's like 14 people in the yeah, house. We've had a lot of people. We've had a lot of people yeah. fish tonight. Uh, Joe Patty's did a great job. Yeah. Uh, apparently, some... apparently, every fish we ate tonight, Richie somehow caught. So Richie caught the Goliath. What he call the it? Goliath the Mangrove. Goliath Mangrove Snapper. Which is um, not even a real breed, but no. in his mind it is. And his 13-inch mangrove had apparently had 18 fillets on it. Yeah. So we do appreciate Richie for providing all the, the, the mangrove, 100%. apparently. But anyways, it's been so much fun. Um, guys, if you don't watch their channel, go check them out. It's Cameraman Ron, not Captain Ron, not Major Ron. Um, he may be able to take you out on charter. That's between <laughs> you and him, but probably not. Yeah, I, I only do one charter a year, and it's when the Arms family rolls into town. So, <laughs> yeah. for, for 2022, we're shut down. Yep. One trip a year on the Mako. Yeah, if you, I mean, if that, something happens, you don't ever cancel your trip. There's a shot out there for somebody. They're just not going to know. They're just not going to know yeah. until, you know, the, the <laughs> until year's it's over, too late. So. so, go check them out. They're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, all yeah. the places. Cameraman Ron, a lot of saltwater fishing. This guy grew up right here in Pensacola, right? No, I grew up in Kentucky. Come exactly. On, I know that's my point. I'm saying, like, you're down here. I'm, I'm oh, making a joke. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. I learned how to fish right here in Pensacola. I, yeah. I was making a joke. This guy did not grow up here. He's no. not a native. He grew up in Kentucky. Yeah. And uh, transplanted down here because of uh, and, photography business, basically, and, yeah, right? Absolutely. Literally came down here to hold a camera and made a living out of it. Yeah. So, no doubt. No doubt. And now he cruises around on a boat and shoots YouTube videos. Yeah. With inspiration. For what a like life, man. Yeah. That must be nice. The only thing I'm missing, you know what I really wish I had down here? Houston. Some goats. <laughs> some I goats. Wish, I wish I had some goats. Yeah. That's the only uh, thing I'm missing. I don't think they'd be real well on palm trees. I don't, but, but you know, I mean, I'm willing to give it a try. Maybe next year we could do a trial run. You could just bring one with you and we'll put it in the backyard. I'm afraid you'll want to butcher it and eat it while I mean, we're here and be like a barbecue. We could deep fry it. <laughs> Everything's good deep fried, man, for sure. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to hang out this evening. Sitting here watching the, the sun go down behind us, and uh, I don't have a clue what all else we're going to get into this week, but mostly relaxing, having fun at the beach. DJ is in her home environment, she says. So, anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.